Good evening, good evening, good evening to you. <clears throat> Lord, I'm trying to get a little fall Hey, y'all. Hey, my babies. Hey, my lovers. How y'all doing? Okay, so this is another story time slash try your haul. So this is a size 3X. I will have the info for all of the outfits posted, okay? So outfit was very stretchy i love it now let's get back to story time so when it was time for me to leave the first place i was at <clears throat> i thought i was going home and um doctors was like no we want to um we want to talk to you a little bit further so they shipped my ass to another location where i was given f f f seven days at that location so um this place um it had big old scary double gray doors um they gotta wand you when you come in you gotta wait and stand still while the doors close and while you're waiting for the doors to close, the nurse will come out and she'll just ask you a little questionnaire or whatever. Um, all outfits, like I said, are three X's. So I get in there and everyone's, everyone's walking around barefooted. So they let me know if you had on tennis shoes that they would be taken from you because of the shoestrings gonna have shoestrings in this place you're gonna have sharp nails in this place um my nails were already taken off like i said in the last video so i didn't have that issue but yeah i seen what they do and they will sit there and they will cut those things off and file them down and everything like yeah Look, 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 y'all. Okay, this way you can sit down, little peekaboo. This outfit actually surprised me, y'all, because it was very stretchy. So, shout out to you, Fashion Nova, because I'm usually a 4X to a 5X, and this is a 3X, and baby, love it. All right, so, after getting me checked in, they showed me to my room, where I pretty much stayed the rest of the day. Um, I got there in the evening. So they sent a doctor in the doctor talked to me talked about the program they did not want to say how long i would be there but they um did tell me that the type of illness that i have um they do week stays and two week stays so i was hoping and praying that they would not give me the two weeks but i said you know what I'm going to trust God and I'm going to trust this process and we, uh, we be vibing. Hey. Um, <laughs> I was like, I'm going to trust this process. I need this time to talk to a therapist, a psychiatrist, get my meds under control or get on the right meds. So I'll say, OK, I'm going to use this time wisely. So I came in closer to the weekend. So i wasn't gonna see my actual therapist that was assigned to me and my actual doctor that was assigned to me until monday so i was like all right t you got this you can do a weekend all right y'all so that next day which was a friday i got to see how everything goes so the morning of they're waking you up at like 8 a.m to give you meds right before breakfast but they only had showers 6 a.m. in the morning or 9 p.m. at night. So, by the way, there were no clocks in there. So, you, I didn't know what time it was until they woke me up. And by that time, I always miss morning showers. So, I'm like, great. Now, I'm had to walk around a little musty. But you know what? I'm not here to impress nobody. You know, I'm here to get some help. And it was people smelling worse than me. But I always made sure I caught my dinner time shower. Because your girl was getting her. Your girl was getting in the shower because one thing that I had chose already as a struggle was to be big. I said that was it. I'm not going to be big and funky. 
I'm not gonna be big and ugly. I ain't gonna be big and raggedy, okay? Just be it, just be it. So with that being said, I made sure I made it to that shower time. Now, speaking of showers, I'm just gonna go in and just like throw in random stories that may click at the time when I say a word or something. Y'all know I'm a little, ooh. So with that being said, speaking of shower, so it was one patient in there. Um, she was trans. Um, with being a part of the community and knowing some of them personally, I know they are very, very, very. Lord, y'all, this dog. Hold on. They are very big on hygiene. So that was one thing that she was stressing about. She was like, I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower. I need to take a shower. Like she said, she didn't feel comfortable unless she was taking showers. And with them having that strict shower time, that messed a lot of us up. Like we was, that was one day where everybody was mad about the shower. Like it was hot in there one day and everybody was like sweating and something had went on with the shower so it was only one shower available so it was a longer line than usual everybody was just upset and even i who was on the lowest of the low totem pole as far as like having issues in there because i was one one of the patients with the least amount of issues and even that says a lot you know i am very grateful for that and you know I'm praying for everyone that is battling something. You know, that's all I can say. After being in there, I'm praying for each and every one of us because we all have capabilities of just snapping, y'all. So just make sure you're taking care of your mental health, please. <clears throat> um, so back to my story. <sighs> so they told Miss Thing, you know your shower time. And you cannot shower at this time. Do y'all know Miss Thang said, I bet. Now, if you grew up in a black household, or you have black friends, or you went to a school with black people, you know what I bet mean. I bet mean I'm going to show you. So as soon as that young lady said that, I grabbed my blanket and I grabbed my uh, coloring book that I was working on and I went to my room and I said, I think we should go to our rooms, y'all. Nobody listen to me. They want to sit there and drool and do all that stuff. All right. That young lady came back down that hallway with a ball of her waist and threw it down the hallway. And baby, I was in my room already watching from the door. Ryan, can I do my story time without you making all that noise? Golly, I mean, gosh. My video already running out. I'm going to have to do a part three. And then you want to make all that god damn noise. <sighs> all right, y'all. Really? Alright y'all, so I'm just going to do a part 3 on the next video, but good thing for y'all, I have another try on haul to do, and that one will be for Shein, and it's going to be released on Halloween, I believe so, so we're going to let this one marinate for a little bit, and I will talk to y'all again, love y'all, <laughs> look out for part 3, I got y'all.